stay with a poor man and be happy or a rich man and be unhappy. Everybody, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel. Um, as you can see, I don't have a face on. I don't have a face on. And the reason is because we're just going to have a little bit of a chit chat. Get ready with me. We're going to talk about... Um, I did a little bit of a Q&A on Instagram the other day and I asked you guys to ask me any questions. I have a very special announcement at the end of the video once my makeup is done. But before then, we are going to talk about some of the questions that you have asked me and we're going to talk around that, have a little bit of a conversation, chit chat. Um, the reason why I'm doing this, um, what's this, this get ready with me is because I have a little bit of a function happening next week. Maybe by the time you see this, the function will have already happened, but you know, stick to my Instagram and my social media to see what went down with that function. But it's pretty much like an indoor backyard picnic kind of thing. And I wanted a very bright, summary look for uh that so yeah so i wanted to try out something bright and colorful on my eyes and when i think of bright and colorful i think of yellows i think of oranges so i don't know how this is gonna go down because i'm not very good with those kinds of colors i'm not crazy about them okay um so we're gonna start and i'm gonna answer some of the questions as we go along um, I might answer them very, very slowly or the questions might just be, you know, I might take my time with them, but that's fine. It's not a big deal, I don't think. Anyway, uh, how are you guys doing? Let me know how you guys are doing. I really would like to catch up and uh, have a little bit of a chat. The two palettes that I'm going to be using are these two. This one is my sister's. I think she left it here. This one is from uh, For The Queens and I'm pretty much going to start with... Oh, let me put on some, what do you call this, uh, primer, eyeshadow primer, and the one that I'm using right now is from Lorac. Um, okay, for the base color, because these two palettes don't really have a nice base that I would like, uh, for the base color, I'm going to use the Morphe Day Slayer palette, and I'm going to use this color here, which is called Forever. So, the first question is a very basic one because I have addressed this many, many, many times on my, okay, I'm just going to transition. This is going to be pretty much all over the eyelid. Um, I've addressed this question many, many, many times on my social media. So maybe the person who asked the question didn't really know. Uh, she asked me what kind of work I do and I am in the construction and civil engineering industry. So that's the kind of work that I do. I don't like to talk about my job here because this is another part of my life that I like to explore and I don't really, yeah, don't quite enjoy talking much about um, my life. How do you stay motivated in terms of continuing with YouTube? Honestly, I think I mentioned this in, um, another one of my uh, vlogs recently I talked about how I feel or felt like quitting YouTube recently I was feeling kind of overwhelmed I was feeling overwhelmed I didn't really feel like um, happy with YouTube I didn't feel I felt despondent I felt like for the amount of content that I've created in the past two years on my channel or a year in my channel I don't know a year and something uh, for the amount of content that I've created I just felt like things were moving slowly so okay. I'm going in with that one there it's a much brighter one which is what we're trying to achieve here okay um, and I'm gonna put that all above my crease I felt like quitting because I felt despondent. I felt like for the amount of work and time that I put into my YouTube channel, I feel I felt like the results were coming fairly slowly. Um, I felt like, I don't know, man. I just really felt despondent. I felt tired. I felt like I put so much work into my YouTube channel on weekends where I could be relaxing, like now. I felt like, you know, uh, I don't know it's not moving at the pace that I would like it to and maybe that is the perfectionist part of me that's coming out or I don't I don't know guys I really don't know but I felt like it's it's I'm not happy um 
what's your go-to hair products and what is one luxury product that you regret buying my go-to hair products are i've put them on my channel as well in a certain video um i use the shea moisture products for my hair not this hair <laughs> i use the shea moisture products for my hair and i absolutely absolutely love them i absolutely love them um i'm just gonna put some concealer on you know how concealer sort of uh deepens a color so yeah those are the products that i use um i i stick to what i know with hair products because you guys know how i feel about um uh girl you guys know how i feel about hair products i'm i'm not i'm not a hair guru i'm not a i don't intend on being one i'm not a you know a makeup artist or whatever i don't intend on being one but with certain things like that i just use what i know and i use what works for me and for the past couple of months that has worked for me i'm trying to grow my hair so normally when i go for my haircuts i don't have them uh trim the top because i'm trying to grow it and then i want to do some kind of crazy hairstyle at some point probably in december spume asked me do you think it's okay for a woman to not want to have kids because they want to focus on their careers absolutely i'm one of those absolutely listen absolutely i'm one of those people who delayed having children i have still i'm still delaying even now but i see collab i'm still delaying even now but i'm one of those women who feels like if i don't want to have kids right now there we go look at that popping out if i don't want to have kids right now i don't want to have kids right now if I don't want to have kids, period, I don't want to have kids. And I don't feel like this is a, um, a conversation that any woman should justify to anyone. If that's how she feels about not wanting to have children currently or ever, even for that matter, then that's how she feels. I don't think that anyone is entitled to have some sort of opinion on whether a woman should have a child or not. I mean, if I don't want to have kids, fine. There's reasons why some uh, women don't want to have kids. Some, some of them are socioeconomic, like how am I going to take care of this kid right now? Things are still a little bit tough. Things are still a little bit, you know, which is fine as well. And there's just, I don't want to have kids because I don't want to have kids. I went through this point in my life where I was just, I didn't want to have kids. And I, I didn't feel, I even sometimes even now i still probably even feel that way even now but i don't feel the need that i need to explain this to anyone because i feel like it's my choice so absolutely if you don't want to have kids and that's how you personally feel about that don't have kids i feel like many people feel like women constantly have to explain themselves or their decisions to the whole world and why why I'm not going to explain jack shit to anyone. So girl, no. I feel like if you don't want to have kids, don't have kids. I have the darker color on the outer part. So I'm going to put pack this on the... Oh, it's coming out really well. I was worried about this. It's coming out really, really well. So I've got the darker Moroccan color from Juvia's Place on the outer part. And then I've got the lighter color from for the queens on the inner part of my eye and it is absolutely stunning it's doing the most mm. you see it looks like this that have me feeling like i want to go out <laughs> after i do my makeup and i don't have anywhere to go the next question is i just want to know how you're doing the past few weeks were hard and you listened to us so now it's your turn um the past few weeks have been hard and one of the things that I've really been contemplating talking about on this channel, and I think you know what it's about if you're from SA, uh, is the, the case with femicide. This country is, has got the highest rates of femicide in the whole world, which is scary. If you get to a point in a country where you can't even, you're afraid, you're mad afraid to just even go outside or be outside and you know go to the shops by yourself as a woman there's something very very wrong with the system of this country my heart was extremely broken with what happened 
with Uinene and all the other women really who have been uh, impacted by this. My heart was extremely broken uh, a couple of weeks ago and I just didn't know how to react to it. I really just did not know how to react to it and uh, what our government is doing or not doing in this case fast enough, whatever they're claiming to do, they're not doing it fast enough is another point of contention that really, 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 really freaking upsets me so much. Something needs to change. Um, and of course, when around the same time that happened, I know one of the questions that I got is, how do you feel about the situation of xenophobia in the country? Not all South Africans are xenophobic, first and foremost. And I feel like... Um, I feel very two-sided about it. South Africans have their own grievances with the, the, the country and not particularly uh, foreign nationals. There are people who have problems with foreign nationals and um, I really feel sorry for them because um, I feel like diversity is one of the best things that we have been gifted with in this country. So for someone to have a problem with a foreign national, I just, I don't know, I can't get, get on board with that. I love that. I feel like I'm done with my eyes. <laughs> Every time I watch you, I see a holistically matured, evolving woman. What goes into being such? Thank you so much that you see that when you look at me. <laughs> Thank you so much. I think to answer that question, I think when you get older, you reach a certain level of, you know, when you're on your life journey, you reach a certain level of maturity where you start to understand yourself and the people around you a lot better than you normally would um and you realize that you just don't want to associate yourself with people that might drag you down in any way you just don't want to associate yourself with people who've always got comments who've always got things to say however they say them you just reach a certain point where you're just like this is my life I'm going to live it the way I want. I'm going to live it as best as I can. But at the same time, I'm still going to keep the core values that have been instilled in me. I'm still going to be my mother and my father's daughter. I'm still going to, um, uh, you know, be respectful and uh, be understanding of others' emotions, of others' opinions. I'm still going to try by all means to integrate all of the things that I've learned when I was younger into my life without um compromising who i really am i'm still you focus on yourself yeah i think you just you just get to a point in your life where you're more in tune with yourself and who you are and um what about my sponge is so janky i need to open a new one but we'll do that next time you get to a point where you're so in tune with yourself and your life and how you want to live your life that you know the only way that you can do justice to yourself and your life is to live it the way you want to um while staying in touch with who you really are your core values your core um you know who you are your core being and all of that you know so for me i just stick to that I stick um yeah let me move on to the next. i've got so many questions i don't feel i'll get through them today but Okay, uh, what's the worst rumor you've heard about yourself? The worst rumor... The worst rumor I've heard about myself... Oh, the worst rumor I've heard about myself is that I can't have kids. <laughs> oh, she's reached the age she's at. Shem, maybe tolore ha khono tola bana. Ooh, killing you, basically. If you're Sutu, you know what I'm saying. Basically, you can't have children. That's the worst rumor I've heard about myself, um, especially when I had a miscarriage last year. So I can't bear children. It's just that I had a little bit of a, an issue last year. Um, so that's the worst rumor because it was hurtful. It was said by people that I never thought would say something like that about me or even, you know. Um, so that hurt me a lot. Um, but yeah. People are going to talk, honey. People are going to talk. See how bright that is? And anybody else would be like, oh, that's so bright. No, no, hell no. No, no, hell yes. <laughs> It'll work. It'll work.
Um, um, uh, what was your first car and how old were you when you got it? My first car was a Ford Fiesta. I loved that car. I went so many places with that car, had so many fights with people in that car, um, uh, traveled to different provinces in that car, and I was 19. And it was my first car. It was like my baby, man. It was so tiny like frog-like looking <laughs> but it was the cutest car that got me through so many good times in varsity got me through wow the absolute most but i absolutely loved it i hate this this part of doing makeup i hate because i hate getting powder on my my god i hate getting powder on my um clothes look at that hello sister <laughs> Um, you love me, true or false? This is from Nosipo. Everybody who knows me knows I love Nosipo, but sometimes it's a struggle to love her because she's a very problematic girlfriend. <laughs> but no, I love her. She's a very, very good friend of mine. Uh, she's on YouTube as well, Nosipo Mklanga. I'm pretty sure you guys know her. Uh, yeah, we talk almost every day. It's that kind of situation. Would you rather stay with a poor man and be happy or a rich man and be unhappy? Ha <laughs> ha! Love this one because I feel like it will address generally just how I feel about society and why people date nowadays and blah blah blah. Let me explain something mad quick. I grew up in a family where at some point when my parents were married, my mother was the breadwinner. My father was at school continuing and blah, blah, blah. And because, um, you know, continuing with his um, uh, uh, d degrees and whatever, and because my mother saw potential in him, she stayed with him and she was like, you know what? Once he gets on his fits, He's going to be all right and we're going to be all right. So I grew up in a in a very different household in terms of the bread. Obviously, when my dad finished and whatever, he became the breadwinner and whatever. But for the most part, I grew up where I saw the dynamic where the woman is the breadwinner and the man is the breadwinner and I saw the differences. But I then later on in life grew up to believe and see that for me personally, I need something for my lips. I ended up seeing that you know what? It's not even about, for me, it's not about the money. I'm not saying be uh, with a poor man. I wouldn't be with somebody who doesn't work, for example. I wouldn't be with somebody who, who has a very low income or whatever. I wouldn't. That's just the general truth. However, I will be with somebody who is not rich but makes shit shake, makes things happen. Somebody who's got great potential to get to that point, if they wanted to, I would do that. I would be with somebody who I feel like, you know what, only needs time, only needs time and will get to where he needs to be. That I can do. But I feel like society nowadays places a lot of value on people with money, uh, people date people for the wrong reasons, people enter into relationships for the wrong reasons, and I just feel like it's terribly sad. I feel like it's terribly sad that you would enter into a relationship just because you want someone to take care of you financially. Um, enter into a relationship because you love someone. I feel like many women nowadays end up in relationships because in J, this person can provide A, B, C, and where is the love? You know what I mean? Um, I'm not saying at all, and don't get me wrong, I'm not saying at all be with a poor man or be with, with a man who's just not cutting it financially. No, but if that's what you want to do, do it, you know? At the end of the day, no one's gonna tell you what to do or what you shouldn't do. However, I feel like it's sad because we have placed a lot of value on um, um, people with high incomes in society. We've placed a lot of value on, um, you know, what a relationship should be, should look like, and we incorporate money into that. And that's very, very sad because I don't walk into my relationships like that. I walk into my relationships with, can we help each other out? Do I see potential in you? Yes, I do. Do I feel like blah, blah, blah? Yes, I do. So I, that's, that's generally what I do. And for me, I, I place a lot of emphasis on things I can do for myself. I want to buy myself that product bag. I want to take a business class flight to, um, 
Brazil or a first class flight to Brazil. I feel like I've accomplished so much if that comes from my pocket. Of course, my partner must, you know, to send me their monies here and there, whatever, whatever. I mean, really, if I'm going to look good like this and I'm going to be doing it for you, I mean, Yenzizinto, make sure check, you know. And yes, we do get those, you know, ama bank balances, like yo, imalium camelo. Oh, thanks. <laughs> we do get those things. However, I just feel like for me, uh, I don't completely entirely base the emphasis of my relationships on the depth, the deepness, the 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 yeah, the the size of someone's pocket. I don't base the emphasis on my relationships on that. So, mm. looks pretty, honey. This is definitely a look. Okay, so I'm back. Lashes are on. I'm gonna fix plus the hell out of my face. Ooh. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but we are here at this part of the video where we're gonna be talking about, <laughs> we're going to be talking about the giveaway, yes. The giveaway is happening. I the last time I did a giveaway, I think I was on 3k subscribers. Uh, we're now on 7k. I yeah. really wanted this um, giveaway to be one way in which I could share some time with some of my subscribers. So for the most part, the details of the giveaway are coming now. They're coming now. For the most part, what we're gonna do is we are gonna spend some time together, and I'm talking about me and three. Three lucky giveaway winners. Three. Three. So I am going to treat three lucky giveaway winners to a special lunch and drinks. And this is something that I've always wanted to do. I never got to do it with uh, Zimasa who won um, the giveaway for the 3K. So if you are keen on meeting up and being friends and having a chat and having a good time, then please enter the giveaway. You are more than welcome to enter. You can only enter once. You can only enter once, please. So the rules for the giveaway are as follows. The basic stuff. You have to be subscribed to the channel. I will check. And you have to be subscribed to all my social media. Now I'm talking about Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Those are the three social media platforms that I'm very busy on and that I'm very active on. Just got there on all those platforms. I will check. I will check that's a promise and the only thing that i would like you to do is down below here let me know what it is about this channel you love the most what it is about the channel that you love the most this will help me as well and give me a little bit of a boost in terms of continuing the channel and to just sort of gauge what it is that people love about the channel the most that's honestly all i want to know from you that's honestly all i want to know from you tell me what is it about the channel that you love the most and once you do that that's it this is going to to be an engagement kind of reward i want us to sit down have a chat have a good time together and sort of you know bond what tell me what you think of this look for um i think i'm gonna do it because i'm not sure when i'm gonna release this particular video but i think i'm gonna do this look for the picnic i really really like it. it's a very bright look um okay i'm gonna go i've been talking too much i'm tired i'll check you in the next video bye